frequency of the Earth as, as ex it. We can explore the Earth as an Earth texture. We can explore the Earth through fire, through water, through okay. air. And a lot of people don't include it, but I do. Electromagnetic pulsing that comes from the Earth. There's a really strong pulse that comes off the Earth. It's amazing to use that pulse. There's also gravity, which is, of course, the Earth. But a lot of people bypass gravity. And it's a very powerful tool. For example, let's say you have a, a huge emotional conundrum that you're going through, and it's ripping you up. And you, you just feel like you can't get there. You can't survive it. Allow yourself to feel gravity. And allow yourself to feel gravity drawing the emotion back to the Earth. And what I've noticed is the Earth takes our shit, and what does it do with it? It gives back flowers and greenery and all the living things in life. It takes our fecund matter, circulates it, re restructures it, and gives back what we need and what other things need to live. So learning to use Earth as a friend, a constant ally, a nurturing mother, changes that feeling that we have now, especially now, that we're overwhelmed and trying to deal with everything by ourselves. Well, if you're plugged into the human paradigm as the primary source of, of, of life and the primary source of juice, it makes us into vampires. Because I'm constantly looking for somebody to fill me up. If I let go of people and I plug into the earth and the universe, I can start sucking the chi from what is designed to have me have that chi. Universal and earth energy is free for everybody. And it wants to be used. Uh, we have our individual thumbprints. And for me, that says something really beautiful. It says the way I receive the earth and circulate it through myself and give back changes everything on the planet. And it changes me. And the more I become unique, the more I become unwilling to be that uniqueness, the more I deeply impact in a positive way the whole existence of existence. So that's my way of dance, and that's what I try to do every day. Um, okay. I, I see that there are, you know, there, there are elements. Let me just... Yeah. Offer the information without making it martial. So I developed a whole series of games that are have nothing to do with martial arts or could have something to do with them. And the games, what I began to realize, people learn more from zero to three, from first birth to three, than they do in the rest of their lives put together in the amount of information learned. And they're learning it in a nonverbal environment for the most part. And they're learning it through inquiry and vulnerable exploration and games. As they get older from three, it's a lot of games. Hey, try this. No, do that. Let's try this. And it's non-structured, playful, in the moment, creative games. So one of the things that I've evolved a lot of this into is how can people take the information from Chinon, which I think is very valuable, not have to be a martial artist, and evolve their consciousness in a playful, creative, vulnerable way without feeling judged or like I can't do it or whatever. So the, 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 um, the surrounding body of Chin Lung is, I mean, the, sur the surrounding body of Chin Lung is fields of consciousness, which is exactly the same thing but you can do it driving a car. You can do it sitting at your computer. You can do it, so for example, people say to me, well, I spend all day at a computer and I, I don't have any time. Well, you stop for a minute. You unplug your computer. You unplug all your electrical appliances, for example. And you sit for a minute and feel into the earth. And my question to you is, what is that plug plugged into? What is the plug that you're plugging into, plugged into? Where does electricity come from? There is scientifically no real answer. I mean, power is generated, electrons move along a wire. What, where does it source that real force comes from, that power, that source? Well, eventually it comes from something like, for example, water, which is earth, and it's, it starts a cycle of something, but the impulse, the first impulse when I first found it, where does it come from? 
it plugs into the Earth itself. All the sources that I understand come from some kind of Earth-based something. No? Yeah, I'm just thinking of how lightning is generated. That's a whole other beautiful thing. But let's just say for now, we're talking about electricity that you plug in. In most cases, it comes from something Earth-based. Yes, no? Right. I mean, fossil turbines, fuel, fossil fuels, waterfalls of water, right. generators. I mean, That's something right. that comes from an Earth-based something. Mm -hmm. So instead of plugging the electric, like the way most people are plugged in with computers, they're plugged into the collective consciousness and high nervous frequency mm -hmm. of humankind. Mm -hmm. And not only that, the computer throws off positive ions and all kinds of things that aren't positive to our nervous system or our physical body. But if you unplug your computer, sit and plug yourself into the earth, feel your feet connected to the earth, feel your chair connected to the earth, plug your lower centers into the earth, and then ask for the earth to fill you up, to, to really be grounded and connected to it, and then go around to the computer and all the other electrical outlets and plug the plug into earth wisdom, into earth nurturance to consciously make the association. I'm plugging into the earth matrix, not the human matrix. And then every time you touch the keys, instead of going into the human paradigm, feel the earth speaking through your fingers, speaking through your feet, speaking through them, and send that out on the computer to everybody that touches that. So for example, things like that. There's so many ways, driving a car, the wheels are turning, actually feel the wheels turning and do your macrocosmic orbit with the wheels driving the car. Now it's no longer me driving the car, it's the earth touching, the wheels are spinning the earth energy, the earth energy spinning my, or the universal energy, whichever way you want to go. Before I step into the car, I imagine myself as soul, my physical body. I imagine that I'm soul and the body, the car is my body. And I feel soul entering the body the ignition turning on, and it's my pure energetic self with earth and heavenly chi igniting the car. I'm now running on earth and universal chi. I'm driving the car, but I'm not driving it. The earth and the universe are coming through me, extending it, driving the car. So how can I take this information and weave it into an ongoing magical, mystical tour? where I'm not the driver, but I am. The forces of life are coming through me. I'm a, I'm a magnifying lens, and I'm actually recognizing that I'm not alone. That earth and universal forces are flowing through me all the time. And the more I'm aware of them, the more they come through me. The more empty I become, the more I'm willing to say, oh, this isn't just me. I'm, I'm a vehicle for these things to flow through me the more beautiful the dance. At least that's my experience. So that's the offering of fields of consciousness.